groups are very particular about who they let into their groups. Um, if your profile hasn't been written using the right keywords and the right information, you may not get into a group that you really want to be a part of because you really want to be interacting with these people and getting ideas from them. So uh, make sure you use appropriate keywords. Um, link to your profile where appropriate. Um, we already talked about the email signature, but do you have, does your company have a website that has a staff directory? And can you encourage your entire staff to get LinkedIn accounts and then on that staff directory link to your LinkedIn accounts? Um, anywhere that you can think of that you can help to populate this um, is a great idea. Uh, I don't suggest, again, you know, doing a Facebook to LinkedIn. Um, connection only because if you're managing those separately personal life versus business life um, then you don't want to confuse people and confuse the traffic between the two uh, recommend there's a I didn't uh, have a screenshot of this but there is a place in Facebook or sorry LinkedIn <laughs> that you can recommend people and you can be recommended um, I love this you, I can go on, for example, I use it a lot for our interns. Um, we have a lot of interns. We're a nonprofit organization, so we rely on you know that free labor um, from interns. And but in turn, we want to help them obviously get great jobs when they're done with school. So I make a point of recommending our interns. And so they have a LinkedIn page. I go, I hit the recommend button, and I write up a little uh, brief explanation that they interned with the Regional Learning Alliance. This is the projects they worked on. I would absolutely hire them. They're a great hire, you know, things like that. Um, that's just one example. Um, recommend can be great. I can recommend Chad, say, if you want any to know anything about networking in Pittsburgh then I'm gonna here's here's your guy here's your networking so um, so using that recommend back and forth and in a pro, in appropriate situations asking people to recommend you thanks Mike um, I just got my little heads up so um, but asking people to recommend you as well in appropriate situations um, Chad and I have known each other now for a little bit of time I would feel very comfortable walking up to him and saying hey now that you've heard my presentation, would you be willing to recommend, you know, I'd like to expand my speaking engagement calendar. Would you be willing to write a recommendation for me um, from a speaker's profile? Um, and I would feel very comfortable doing that. And so think about when you're comfortable doing that and asking people to recommend you as well. Update your profile um, as much as possible. Um, LinkedIn is a little bit harder because it has to be newsworthy, so, but make sure that you're finding ways to update your profile, either if it's by joining new groups and organizations that are helpful, um, posting links to interesting articles. Um, keep it fresh enough that people want to make sure to come back and see what you're up to. Join groups. We talked about that. Um, be specific with the groups that you join, um, and if you are creating a group be specific with the people that you allow in so we've already kind of talked about that post news um, be educational collaborative um, use the applications so these are all things that we went through these are some of the great hidden tools um, and then if I can end with the most important part which I've talked about along the way um, but one kind of final thought before we get to questions is Build your strategy first. Make sure that you follow those four pillars. They are very simple, and that's why I like them. They're not complicated. They do not, you don't need to complicate the issue. Follow those pillars, create your strategy, and carve out the time. Um, similar, if you know that you have to you know, get a report done every week by Friday at noon, that you carve out that time to get that report done in your weekly uh, schedule, carve out the time to work on this don't it, it very quickly can become too much to manage but if you carve out that you know half hour every you know Tuesday and Thursday afternoon to be able to go through and manage what you're doing online you're really going to get more out of LinkedIn than just being one more profile amongst 35 million so I can take questions we're gonna switch mics if anybody has any questions <laughs> questions, questions. I've got one right here. Since you're using your LinkedIn profile to, to help build your business connections with the RLA, do you? 
post your personal resume still on LinkedIn because I think that's what the majority of users sort of use it for, especially if they're new. Um, so I was wondering if you actually posted your personal work history and if you saw that as that's something you really wanted your connections knowing right. about. Um, I do, and I think that that's because it adds to credibility. I think that um, it adds to your reputation online. Um, now, it's different than my actual resume. It only highlights the things that I think are relevant to, um, you know, to what I'm doing. So I started my career in marketing, and then I kind of took a little bit of a sidetrack out of it for a while, and that's not really as included as much as the rest. But yes, I do think it's important so that people understand your background and um, can see who they're hearing from. I'd like to add a little bit to that too, sorry. Um, what I do is just would put your company name and your, your, the title that you had, you know, for all the businesses on there that don't put, you know, all the detail in that because they're ir irrelevant unless you're looking for a job. If you have your business but you have those other ones, I agree with Carrie, put those all under there because it helps you help other people. They look and say, okay, yeah, this person has all this experience but don't put all the detail in it. And then my other point, I have a question for you too. Yes, sir. My question is, I already know the answer, but from your perspective, is that say someone's brand new on LinkedIn and they've just been using it a little bit, you say carve out time. What should I start with first? What's the most important thing you think they should do on that if they only have a little bit of time and they don't really understand it as much? Um, first and foremost, finish your own profile before you start adding other people, making sure that your profile is complete and it tells you right on LinkedIn what you have done and what you haven't yet, have yet to do. Um, so that would be my first suggestion. And then starting with a small amount of connections that you can manage um, and moving from there. Um, getting used to all of the applications, all of those little hidden gems that I talked about with a small number based on how much time that you can carve out. So that's my personal opinion. And as a sales manager, I encourage our account managers to add their very happiest clients to their LinkedIn. There then you maybe go. you'll find some referrals. I just want to get your opinion on the, um, the companies. Like now they have uh, recently where you can add your own company and then have people follow your company on there. I really think it needs tweaked uh, a lot because it doesn't really you know, have a lot of, you know, features right. with it yet, but I just want to get your take on it. Um, I agree completely. It doesn't have enough features. Um, the Regional Learning Alliance has a page, and I can't tell you the last time I visited it. Because right now, about the only thing that you can do is link pe past and current employees to it, um, and some other, you know, a little brief description. Um, LinkedIn is about personal networks and personal connections, and so I think they have a long way to go on the business side to make that fit in with their overall all concept, which is connecting people, not companies. Um, so I think that goes back to being um, using that education portion of the four pillars to um, to find subtle ways to get your business in, um, and then you know I'm linked to my business page so there's if people are interested in me they're going to learn about my organization because I'm linked as well but um, it does need it does need work and I don't think it's something that you need to spend create your page for your business but until they kind of come forward with a little bit more functionality um, I wouldn't spend too much time on it you know and again these are just there's you can find a school of thought on this in every way shape or form because it's such a massive amount of media and information so um, you know, I go back to take what works for you because um, if you have the time to go through that business page and find those hidden gems that I have found from a personal standpoint, they may be there, but that's not a number one priority for us at the RLA So, because we don't think that they do a good job of it yet. Time for one more question. Is there one more? Anybody I'm missing? Jump up and down if I don't see you. All right, let's have a big hand for Carrie Zavolta. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Carrie.